A high school senior dating a 14-year-old schoolmate turns 18, making their sexual relationship illegal. Both students girls. Well, now Caitlin Hunt is in court today, charged with lewd and lascivious behavior and faces 15 years in prison. Adding to our panel now, Judge David Young out of Florida. Judge, you know, whether they're 17 and 14 or 18 and 14, still three and a half years apart in age, you know, legal difference. Well, it is, and, and unfortunately, the judge can't let his or her you know, personal opinion involved. The law is what the law is, but where the Judge Kerry can get involved is at the sentencing stage, he can pronounce a sentence he feels is appropriate if, in fact, this woman is convicted. Um, and I think you also have to understand that there's going to be a lot of negotiation back and forth. The public pressure on the prosecutor is going to be pretty immense, and I think by the time this case gets ready for trial, there'll be some type of a resolution. At least I hope so. And well, what are your thoughts? I mean, you are openly gay. You're a judge. What do you see this as? Is this a witch hunt, a parent that's upset that her daughter's gay? Or is this truly based on everything legal? Well, I don't think that the intent is pure of the prosecution. I think clearly that, in this case, the 14-year-old's mother is concerned about her daughter and the fact that her daughter is involved in a lesbian relationship. That being said, you know, there has to come a time where parents act as parents and not friends and to tell your 14 year old I'm sorry you're not dating an 18 year old girl or an 18 year old boy that's just not going to happen under my roof so there has to be some parental involvement Did it, should it have reached the level of prosecution I think not I think you have two people who are in a consensual relationship and it could have been handled a lot better than it's handled now because no one in this case will be a winner no but judge he, it, Caitlin wait. Hunt was offered a sweetheart deal if she had just gone along with the orders of the court. You, as a former judge, how would you have felt if you were the judge overseeing this case and there were over 20,000 text messages exchanged after you ordered them not to have any contact until it was adjudicated? That's pretty defiant. That, that is pretty defiant. And uh, listen, people knew that came before me, you don't defy Judge David, because if you do, mm -hmm. you're going to end up <laughs> in, not, in a place you're not really happy with. But that's, uh, that's different. Mm -hmm. You know, Obeying a judge's order is one, disobeying is one thing. Going to jail for 15 years as a sexual predator when you're involved in a consensual relationship is another. Fundamentally, there's an issue. There's fundamentally, Judge, there's still an issue about that being a consensual relationship because the whole purpose of these statutory rape laws is that somebody, when they're at a particular age, they don't have the capacity to consent. Yeah, so how does that factor into all this? A 14-year-old does not have the mental capacity to say, yes, let's do this. And the nude pictures well, also sure that is true. I don't know. I don't know if this fourteen-year-old has that. Year old that's knows why what they're doing. Have... Think of you. Oh, you are fourteen minute, years on. old. You oh, don't think know of what you're doing. That's a freshman in high school. I'm not trying to absolve this person, but no. but there's, I I don't know that I would put that whole thing. But on there's twenty thousand texts back and forth. It wasn't right. just the older girl no, right. sending no, right. videos of masturbating and saying how sexy she was and how much they were in love. I mean, the other girl was reciprocating, and they had clearly a gay relationship and they expressed that they loved the, each other there, there were feelings on both sides right. okay this is not there's not one person who is pushing themselves on another it's completely different than the sexual abuse cases that I used to see right but what I would probably do as a judge is have the 14 year old go under a psychological evaluation so I could see exactly what's going on up there and then make that determination that's kind of what I was. That's kind of what I was thinking. Well, but let, let's be clear: the twenty thousand text messages that we're talking about, some of these provocative things, these were all things that happened after the judge said right, right. no communication between yeah. you right. two.